Dr. George Carruthers. Dr. George Carruthers was born October 1st, 1939 in Cincinnati, Ohio, to a father who was a civil engineer and a mother who was a homemaker. The family lived in Millfoot, Ohio, where Carruthers developed his love for science as an avid science fiction reader and developing model rockets. With a growing interest in astronomy, he built his first telescope out of cardboard at the age of 10. Suddenly, Carruthers' father passed away, forcing his family to move to Chicago, where he was able to spend time at libraries and museums. He joined various clubs associated with the Atlas Planetarium and became a member of the Chicago Rocket Society. He was also able to satisfy his growing interest in space by reading books at the National Research Laboratory, Washington, D.C. In 1957, he graduated from Englewood High School, then enrolled into the University of Illinois. During his seven-year stint at the University of Illinois, Carruthers graduated with a Bachelor's of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering in 1961, a Master's degree in Nuclear Engineering in 1962, and a PhD in Aeronautical and Astronomical Engineering in 1964. During his graduate studies, Carruthers was a research and teaching assistant working with plasma and gases. After earning his PhD, Carruthers accepted a position with the Naval Research Laboratory in 1964 as a research physicist having researched a fellowship in rocket astronomy for the National Science Foundation. In 1966, Carruthers became a research assistant at the Naval Research Laboratory EO's Huber Center for Space Research, where he researched ways to create visual images as a means of understanding the physical elements of deep space. His main focus was to create a device to illuminate and analyze ultraviolet radiation. In 1969, Carruthers received a patent for his invention, the image converter for detecting electromagnetic radiation, especially in short wavelengths, which detected electromagnetic radiation in short wavelengths. Carruthers was the principal inventor of the far ultraviolet camera spectrograph, which was used in the Apollo 16 mission to the moon. The camera allowed views of stars and celestial bodies and looked into the solar system thousands of miles away. A second version of the camera was sent on the Skylab space flight to study comets in 1974. The camera actually allowed a user to see the amount of pollution in the Earth's atmosphere. For the first time in history, scientists were able to detect hydrogen in space, which gave an indication that planets were not the only source of oxygen for the Earth, which led to a debate about the origin of the stars. George Carruthers was a force in the areas of astronomy and physics and was active in outreach programs seeking to bring science to the youth around the nation. He was named Black Engineer of the Year in 1987, awarded the Arthur Fleming Award in 1971, the Exceptional Achievement Scientific Award from NASA in 1972, the Warner Prize in 1973, and inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2003. He was a leader who had the courage to take the road less traveled and excel within his fields. Carruthers was an inspiration and a prime example of hard work, imagination, and greatness. Dr. George Carruthers, we stand on your shoulders.